Black holes have sparked our imagination for generations. Finally, we get to uncover more and more about their awe-inspiring mysteries. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has revealed several amazing images from a black hole that helped give us a totally new understanding of it. So what did JWST see inside the black hole? Join us as we explore how NASA's newest observation device reveals images from the fascinating phenomenon. Using the Event Horizon Telescope, an international team of astronomers captured the first ever image of a black hole in the Milky Way in 2019. It was a breakthrough in the world of astronomy as scientists have waited more than 100 years to capture an image of a black hole. The Hubble was the first telescope to prove that there are black holes in the centers of galaxies as astronomers observed the motion of stars orbiting quickly around a black hole. JWST is bound to take that discovery a few steps further. According to John C. Mather, a senior astrophysicist at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, they are hoping that JWST's observations will teach astronomers about the origins of active galactic nuclei, the supermassive black holes lurking in every galaxy's core. In the middle of every galaxy is a giant black hole, and as of the moment, scientists do not have any idea of its origin. Scientists are looking to uncover the mystery with the help of powerful devices like Webb. JWST spotted the oldest black hole in the universe, and scientists think even older ones could be swarming our young cosmos. The supermassive black hole JWST discovered has a mass of 10 million times that of the Sun. It was found in the middle of a baby galaxy 570 million years after the universe began. Astronomers are not sure why there's so many black holes and how they got so big, and hopefully the JWST can further help uncover more mysteries. Before the James Webb Space Telescope, previous telescopes had several limitations that the JWST was designed to overcome. Earlier telescopes had limited infrared sensitivity and capabilities, and infrared observations are crucial for studying objects obscured by dust such as distant galaxies and regions of star formation. The JWST has unprecedented sensitivity and resolution. While older telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope had smaller primary mirrors, JWST's larger primary mirror allows it to collect more light and achieve higher resolution, helping astronomers observe faint and distant objects in greater detail. JWST also has a sophisticated sun shield and cooling system to minimize thermal interference and maintain accurate and clear observations throughout. As compared to the images taken in the past, the images JWST captured definitely offer a stark contrast in terms of clarity and resolution. We can notice finer detail, opening up new frontiers of observational astronomy and scientific exploration. Since Albert Einstein published his wild theory, the main concern with black holes has always been gravity. A black hole's gravitational pull is so intense that anything that comes near it compresses down until it becomes an integral part of it. In simpler terms, a black hole will suck everything into a non-existence. These facts make it impossible for scientists to go near a black hole to observe what is actually present and happening inside of it. Luckily, we now have the JWST, a space telescope so powerful that we have been able to get a first-ever close view of one of the black holes in the Milky Way. Although scientists did not specifically design the space observation platform as a tool to study black holes, JWST's infrared imaging capabilities have helped in cutting through obscuring dust and unraveling the intricate mysteries of black hole formation. As black holes pull in matter, they create an accretion disk, a swirling disk of particles encircling a black hole. JWST's infrared devices allow its telescope to examine the accretion disk in a more detailed view, providing scientists with new perspectives on how the particles behave as they fall into the black hole. One of the first things that the JWST observed was a black hole at the central part of the Messier 87 galaxy. More commonly known as M87, this black hole is estimated to be 6.5 billion times the mass of the Sun and, according to experts' calculations, is located about 55 million light-years from Earth. JWST's capture of the M87 is a historic moment for astronomers because it provides the first perfectly lucid evidence of the existence of a supermassive black hole. On top of that, the visual observation results have also helped scientists in understanding how these black holes evolve over time. More recent findings from the JWST have also revealed one of the oldest black holes that is estimated to be 10 million times heavier than the Sun. The findings have helped scientists decode subtle glimmers of light that originated in early moments of the universe. Scientists expect that this black hole didn't just form recently. This means that there should be more similar black holes that are younger and existed earlier on 
on in the universe. The JWST allowed NASA astronomers to study the redshift period, and they're excited to find more of these black holes. Besides helping scientists observe newfound black holes, the JWST has also helped NASA astronomers in rediscovering facts about previously discovered space objects. In one instance, the JWST helped space experts realize that an object they identified as a galaxy was actually a black hole directly pointed at Earth. The object, located 4 million light years away, was initially classified by scientists as a radio galaxy. But new research published in March reclassifies what was thought to be a galaxy as a blazar or a supermassive black hole. This implies that its jets have shifted by a dramatic degree and are now pointed directly at Earth. During the study of the blazar, the researchers also observed two lobes, which are the relics of past activity proving that the jets have changed direction. If you ask what caused this great shift, we can only tell you that astronomers are still working on the explanations. Nevertheless, the findings from the JWST help us to better understand why so many black holes grew so quickly in space after the Big Bang period. One of the most promising theories, according to scientists, is that these black holes are the remains of giant stars that grew at much faster rates than the ones we know today. The sheer scale of the very first bits of the data about the black hole gathered by the JWST is impressive by itself. These findings prove to us that the telescope works in a great way. And more importantly, new observation results are going to be rolling out from the JWST from now on. Scientists are very happy that we are now able to see and understand how the jet develops from the emission ring that surrounds the supermassive black hole. The ability to measure the ring diameter at a longer wavelength has also made them optimistic about the future study of black holes. It is a good thing that astronomers have seen the real capability of the JWST. You can bet that there will be even more taxing targets for the telescope in the next few years. Essentially, they will be much more adventurous since they know now just how capable the JWST really is. However, the attempt to learn more about the previously discussed black holes remains far from over. As further observations and an army of powerful telescopes continue to reveal what lies beneath, scientists will be able to give us an unequivocal view of those black holes with vibrant pictures in radio light. The JWST was initially designed to study exoplanets and explore the formation of galaxies and stars, but the powerful telescope is expected to also offer valuable insights into the elusive black holes. JWST can observe the galaxies that host black holes and study the structure, dynamics, and components of such galaxies to gain more insights into the formation and evolution of black holes. Scientists can then further study the accretion disks, the circular structures of dust and gas spiraling into black holes. Observing the infrared signatures of these disks can help scientists explore black holes' energy output and feeding mechanisms. Scientists can study gravitational waves, the behavior of black holes, and their role in the universe at large. As exciting as the prospect of a new understanding of the black hole may be, scientists say that we will likely have more questions than answers in the near future. Now, researchers are still planning to gather more discoveries with the JWST in the coming years. Thanks for watching another episode from this channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know what you think about it in the comments section below.